Hello elementary cellos. Uh, today I want to share with you a fiddle tune that I really like. Um, and I always think about this around St. Patrick's Day uh, because it's called Boil em Cabbage Down. So um, this is a really fun tune to play. If you're a second year player and you're looking at this and saying, this is a piece of cake, then feel free to pause and just play on your own. You can even take a little screenshot. Um, but I'm going to go through this line by line so that everyone feels comfortable with it. Um, the first thing I want to point out to you is that um, the rhythm looks a little strange. We've never really um, done a rhythm like this before, I don't think, for fourth or fifth graders. Um, but it really is just an eighth note with two sixteenth notes next to it, which is a longer note with two shorter notes. And every time uh, I see that, a long note with two short notes, I always think in my head, strawberry. It's because when I'm bowing, I'm going to be going strawberry, strawberry. In fact, you can try that right now. You can maybe play, let's do uh, four strawberries on our A string. So ready, and uh, here we go. Yeah, and I know you, let me see if I can tilt this a little bit. You can't see my bowing as well. Yeah, there's not really any way to get that in. Um, but I am trying to stick... Uh, in the middle of the bow, not down at the frog, and not at the tip. So stick right in the middle as you do this. I'm going to go to a screen with just the first two lines. Let me move myself up here. And I wanted to just mention that uh, there's some letter names on top of the notes. Those are the names of the chords in this song. If you had someone playing piano or guitar um, with you, that's those are the chord names they would play. They do not match the note names you're playing. So Please don't read those notes. Just we're going to read the notes on the staff. And so we see that the first thing we have are two strawberry C sharps. Strawberry, strawberry. Uh, that note C sharp is three fingers on the A string. So let's try that together. Ready, and uh, here we go. Very nice. Next, we have two D strawberries, four fingers on the A string. Okay, ready, and uh, here we go. Good, next measure, two C sharps again. And the last measure is a B, one finger on the A string. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, we should be able to put this whole top line together. Uh, this is These are all A string notes, and if you're a first-year player, we've been spending a lot of time practicing on the A string, so this is a great review for you. So let's set down our three fingers. Remember that thumb is right in the back, right? We're not pointing it up. It's pointing over to the right-hand side. All right, we have our fingers nice and curved using our fingertips. Here's the first line of uh, boil them cabbage down. Ready? And uh, here we go. Awesome. Uh, if you feel like you have that, I'm going to move on. If you'd like to pause and go back, um, please do that as many times as you need to to feel comfortable with that first line. Next line, the first two measures are the same as something we've already played up here, right? Two C's sharps and two D's. Let's do that together just as a review. Ready, here we go. Great. And then the next part, this is going to keep you on your toes a little bit. You have, instead of having two strawberries for every note, you change after each strawberry. So you have C sharp, then B, then A. C, 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 B, 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 A, 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 and then one big long A quarter note. We love our quarter notes, just a big open A. This is what that will sound like. I'm going to set my three fingers down for C sharp. So a little bit of a quicker pace going through that. Um, you have to change your fingers quicker. Uh, let's play the, all, both of these lines together. See if you can play this with me. Ready, and uh, here we go. Awesome. And after that, we have a repeat sign, which means go back and do it again. We actually would go back and play those two lines again. I'm going to skip that for now. Um, to move on to lines three and four, which are right here. Now we're going back to the D string. 
This first note here um, is an E, one finger on the D string. Let's play both of those E's. Ready, and uh, here we go. Beautiful, then F sharps in the next measure, three fingers. Here we go. Then E's again, here we go. Great, and then this last uh, measure, you might be saying, what note is that? Um, especially if you're a fourth grader. We actually haven't learned this yet, so we're learning something new. This note is called B, and it's three fingers on the G string. Okay, let's try that together. So one, two, three on the G string. Ready, here we go. Awesome, let's do that whole third line. It's the top line here, but it's the third line of the piece. Together, get your E ready. Uh, ready, and uh, here we go. E, F, This last line, this fourth line, is actually just a combination of two lines we played before. We have E's and F sharps, which we've done up here already. Okay, and you'll recognize this last part C, 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 B, 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 A, 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 A. We did that on the last slide, um, on the second line. So uh, let's play the bottom line. I think we can just go for it. Let's play the bottom line together. I have my E here on the D string. Ready, and uh, here we go. <laughs> And again, uh, repeat sign, uh, and this time we would go back and repeat these two lines. Um, and so if I actually go back to the whole piece, uh, I'll show you the roadmap here, the order that we'll do, uh, that we'll play this is the first line, the second line, then we have a repeat sign, so we go back and do that again, first line, second line. Then we have the third line and fourth line. And our repeat tells us to go back to here, so we'd play the third line and the fourth line again. Um, so a total of eight lines of music. I'm going to play through this twice now, once uh, slow like we were just practicing with the repeats, and then another time a little bit faster as a challenge. So um, try to play this along with me, um, or listen and then pause and, and, and practice it on your own. Here is uh, a slower version um, of Boil 'em Cabbage Down. Ready, and uh, here we go. <laughs> So I hope you 
you have fun uh, playing this and uh, there will be a spot on the Google Classroom to share a video with me. I would love to see what you do with this, or even a short video of part of it um, so I can give you some feedback. Uh, so have fun with this and I can't wait to see what you do.